In this video, we're going to show you how to add up in binary. Now, the first thing to know is how to add up individual binary digits. Just as in normal maths, you learn to add single digits, so three to four, before you start to learn with multiple digits. So we're going to have these binary digits or bits. And the first example we're going to have a look at is this one here, where we're adding zero to zero. So zero plus zero is, of course, you guessed it, zero. The second one is zero plus one. Now this is really, really easy because zero plus one is, of course, one. The next example gets a little bit more tricky because this one's just the same. So the next example, this one here, we're doing one plus one. Now we all know that the answer to that is two, but we're working in binary. So actually the answer is one zero. So zero ones and one two. The last case we need to consider is where we're adding three ones together. So one plus one plus one. And we know the answer is three. So three in binary is one, two and one, one. To put it another way, in example number three, what we've done is because this column cannot contain any more than one and we've got two, we carry the two over to the next column. And in this one, because we've got three, we carry two over to the next column and it leaves one left over. So if we have a look at this binary sum down the bottom here, first of all, we've got one and one. So we're using this rule here, rule number three. So very, very simply, one and one is one zero. So what we're going to do is we put the zero in here, like so, and the one we're going to put up at the top of this column here. So carrying just like we do in maths. Now we've got one plus zero plus zero, which is the same as anything in rule two. So we're going to grab a one. Like this. And then we're going to put that in there. Now, one doesn't carry anything. So here we've got zero and one, which is in rule two. So there we are. And 0 and 1, rule 2, there we are, just like that. And then 1 and 1, which is rule 3 again, which is 0. And carry the 1 over to the next column. Now the interesting thing comes when we convert these numbers into deanery. And we can see that this row here is 1, 1. And this here is the 16 column, so it's equal to 17. So this row here is equal to 17 in deanery, just like that. If we have a look at this row, we've got 16 and 8, so that's 24, plus the 4, which is 28, so 29. So I'm going to put up here 20. 9 like that so if we have a look down here we've got 32 plus 8 which is 40 plus 4 which is 44 plus 2 which is 46 and the thing is if we add 17 and 29 we get 46. So that's how to add up in binary. There's plenty more sums uh, you can have a go at, and I've put some on Moodle for you to give a try with. So I hope that's easily understandable, and you can always come and see me if you need more help.